All right, limited time series number one of five available in this uh, new Bugatti update, version 7.3. We're gonna start with, as I said in previous uh, video, Audi Twin Turbo RS Coupe 2019 edition. We get to win 60 gold and the car itself for completing the series. Car is worth what, uh, 340 gold, uh, base PR 39.9, goes all the way up to 57.7, got three hour service time, um, which is pretty typical these days. So um, this special uh, limited time series runs from um, as soon as you download the new version, it is going to start. Uh, and it will expire next Monday for me, but depending on where you are on in the world, it might be Tuesday for you. Um, so check your calendars, uh, plan accordingly if you'd like to win this car. Now, according to their uh, information they have published, the PR requirement to complete the series and win this car is going to be 53.4 so um, let's uh, jump in and find out confirm if that is true all right so earn a 2019 audi ttrs coupe by 100 percent completing this special limited time series 2019 audi ttrs coupe brings a new aggressive look with an impressive amount of power to match um it looks like the other version maybe is there extra gap in the like the wheel housing there i feel like the it's got like a hydraulic or something it looks really high away from the wheels doesn't it just look at it it looks so high huh you know how you can adjust the ride height it looks like somebody adjusted the height all the way up. I don't know, maybe I'm seeing things, but that looks a um, little, little high to look really, it doesn't look very sporty when it's that high. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, the total gold reward is, as I said, uh, 60. And here's the, the divided into 25% completion increment. And uh, I don't believe you can win any gold by running only racing dollars, uh, racing dollar upgrades alone. So, um, but let's just complete this series immediately with gold and uh, check out or confirm the information, shall we? So there's the car. All right, pretty cool. And it does unlock the bonus series in expert section called Autobahn Aces. So that's that's good. And let's go to the last tier, tier 15. And uh, check out this final cup race at Daytona. Three laps with the PR requirement of 53.4. So I guess that is an accurate information. All right, so um, if this is like the other limited time series, it should be three upgrades across the board. Once again, 21 upgrades, right? Three upgrades in uh, seven categories. So first looks like uh, we got some racing dollar upgrades. So that's good. It's not like S2000 GT, the Honda, which had only gold upgrades. It's a little annoying. But uh, for the interweb, I shall use gold to upgrade these right away. Um, but it's going to take an hour for this first tier upgrades. And uh, let's see, we need to bring it up to 53 and we're starting at 39. Um, well, it's really close to 40, isn't it? So we need to bring up um, exactly 13.5 PR points is what we need to bring up. So I'm assuming maybe each tier will bring up 
um, about four PR points, right? Four and a change. Then you multiply that by three, you get about 12 with a, some extra here and there sprinkle, bring us up to 13.5 PR points. So uh, if I can bring my PR up to about 44-ish with the first tier cash upgrades, the racing dollar upgrades, uh, I will be on target, I would assume. So here, let's go with the gold for the first round the upgrade just to get it done right away so I don't have to wait for an hour. Our wait isn't really too bad. All right, so drivetrain. Um, and the body. All right, and suspension. All right. Keep going. Exhaust. And brakes. And tires and wheels. All right, so they all, yep, 44.4. So as I was saying, that is right on target. And uh, I believe the second tier upgrades were all entirely gold, weren't they? So uh, let's see, 35 gold for engine. All right, and it does unlock the four hour racing dollar upgrade, third tier. All right, so after the second tier uh, gold upgrades, I'd assume that my PR should be somewhere in like 48. The first one brought up, what, like 4.5, right? So if we kind of go with that formula, the next one should bring us up to like 48.9. So let's uh, run through. First, uh, let's see, it was 35 gold for that engine, right? And then drivetrain is on 32, so that brings total up to 67, right? And just like the engine, it does unlock the racing dollar upgrade following. So we see the trend here. And then 26 gold. All right. Um, punch it in my calculator here so I don't have to do this uh, in my head on the web. Um, and suspension is going to cost 30 gold and same as the other categories does unlock that third tier racing dollar upgrade and 28 so it's a little cheaper for exhaust in this car than the suspension they're fairly close though and the brakes always the cheapest one 22 gold all right and then finally tires and wheels we got 26 gold which all adds up to be is that right 199 gold all right so uh remember i think that kind of falls back on its uh original the formula that i use um the cost how to figure out the upgrade cost for these limited time series you combine the cost of the car which is 340 and you combine that with the gold reward for the event which is 60 so you put those together you get 400 right and typically it's half of that is what you have to pay so in this case 199 is pretty darn close to being halfway of 400 right slightly under actually um and the third tier upgrades are all racing dollars and uh, our pr with 14. the second tier upgrades completed is 48.9 so exactly on the money there so all right so that's sounding promising so let's get this third tier upgrade which has four hour r d time and that should i would assume that's gonna be right on it should bring us right on if not pretty darn close to the target pr of 53.4 so that's the drivetrain and body brings up 0.5 pr point and then um, 0.7 for suspension upgrade so that's a nice pr boost and then exhaust should be similar um right so that's that's good because i was beginning to worry a little bit <laughs> it's like hey, am i gonna reach the 53.4 um break of course usually not as large of a boost but still 0.6 pr point 
So we're maxing out exhaust brakes and tires and wheels. We're at 52.7 and yes, the final tires and wheels upgrade does bring our PR exactly up to 53.4. So, um, yeah, uh, three upgrades across the board, 21 out of 28 available upgrades on this car to complete this event, at least reach the PR requirement. Assuming they don't throw any uh, curveballs along the way. So let's uh, run through the series itself and kind of double check what we've got here. We're starting out with head-to-head uh, -head elimination on the brand new circuits. We got the Bugatti circuit, the head-to-head, -head. probably a single lapper. Okay, so we get to get a quick brief um, introduction to the new track there. And we got an elimination at the Formula E Berlin circuit. Um, and, uh, well, I might actually do full lap and then some, just because it's a brand new circuit. Uh, by that, I mean, normally on, <laughs> under normal circumstances, I like to play blockade in elimination, and especially in these narrow circuits where you can just kind of minimize the amount of distance that you travel to spare yourself some, um, service bars. But, uh, considering it's a new circuit, I feel that I should run it like normal. All right. And then we got a cup to wrap up tier one at Nürburgring sprint circuit, a single lapper, no PR requirement for the tier one. Um, and tier two, we got autocross at Suzuka East, drag race at Red Bull Ring, and a cup is going to be at Brands Hatch in the circuit, two laps with a PR requirement of 42.4. So obviously you would need some upgrades, at least a few, maybe not all the first tier upgrades, but you're going to need a few, but they just take only one hour for the first tier. So, um, yeah, shouldn't take too long. And then tier three, we got Hunter at Mount Panorama, Speed Snap at Hokanan Grand Prix. And the cup for tier three is going to be at Catalunya GP, single lapper with the PR requirement of 43.7. All right, so still doable with racing dollars alone. And this is the key, right? Uh, the Melbourne Cup race is going to be higher than 44.4, which is the limit of your limited... Uh, racing dollar upgrades, the seven upgrades, right? But before that, we got a speed record and Circuit of the Americas Club Circuit, Endurances at Spa, and the Cup at Melbourne's three lapper with the PR requirement just above 44.4. And if you remember, there were no gold upgrades that was uh, <laughs> less than five gold right i say that because the the reward that you get for 25 percent completion was five gold so uh once again we're back to that if you're in it you're in it to win it there were some exceptions right like notably like the centenario limited time series you were able to just net gold even if you don't own the car um, by getting a few racing dollar upgrades and completing 25%. Uh, I mean, it's only 10 gold. It was, but um, hey, that's 10 more gold than you would have had otherwise. So there you go. Anyway, uh, tier five, we got elimination at Monza Junior course, autocross at Le Mans, the full Le Mans circuit, not the new Bugatti circuit. And the cup is going to be at the Brickyard Road Course Double Lapper with the PR requirement of 45.6. All right. And uh, of course, by now you're running with the gold upgrades. So technically, uh, if we're following the trend, you should be able to get to about tier 10 with those 14 upgrades. So you have some time before those four hour tier three racing dollar upgrades kick in. Um, Anyway, so tier six, we got Speed Snap at Mazda Raceway, head to head at Hong Kong, single lapper, and the cup is at Silverstone GP, double lap, 
with a PR requirement of 46.4. All right, and tier seven, we got endurance at Dubai Grand Prix, speed record at New York, and Circuit of the Americas Cup race at National Circuit. Three laps with the PR requirement of 47.2. So 47.2 is what you need to claim that 50% completion reward, uh, which definitely was a lot less than 200 gold that you had to spend to get somewhere near this point, right? All right. So uh, then we get to tier eight. You need two gold trophies here to claim that 50% completion. So we got a Hunter at Nürburgring Grand Prix, Speed Snap at Catalunya Club Circuit, and the cup is at Hockenheim National. Three laps with the PR requirement of 48 even. All right, moving on to tier nine. We got elimination at Daytona Motorcycle Course. Uh, endurance at Suzuka West and the cup is going to be at Berlin circuit four laps with the PR requirement of 48.7 so with four laps we'll get a really really good look at the new Formula E circuit so that is pretty cool and I'm wondering if the they might have new tiers in the Formula E series to feature the new Formula E track because that would only make sense, you know what I mean? Anyway, moving on, tier 10, we got autocross at Formula E Hong Kong, head-to-head uh, -head at Silverstone National, and the cup uh, at the new Bugatti circuit. Three laps, so once again, we'll get a pretty good look at uh, the circuit with a PR requirement here, 49.5. So, all right, higher lap count on new tracks is good. All right, now moving on to tier 11, we got drag race. Uh, it's at Monza, but really. <laughs> and moving on to speed records, gonna be at the uh, brake yard uh, road course. And then the cup is at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix, three laps with a PR requirement of 50.2. So that's what you need to claim 75% completion reward. Uh, we got a speed snap to start off tier 12 at the new Bugatti circuit, autocross at Mount Panorama, and the cup at Mazda Raceway to follow. Three laps with the PR requirement of 51 even. All right, tier 13, we got elimination at Porsche Test Track, long road circuit. Hunter at Nürburgring, Mühlenbach Schleife, and the Cup at Suzuka Grand Prix, three laps with the PR requirement of 51.8. All right, and tier 14, the Pen Ultimate tier, we got head to head at Silverstone International, um, Endurance at Dubai National, and uh, let's see, head to head is a single lap, right? Yes, and the cup at Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix Circuit. Ah, uh, still, I consider this a brand new circuit. I know it's been out for a couple of updates now. Uh, no, it's been out for more than a couple of updates, right? Uh, anyway, it's going to be a three lapper with the PR requirement of 52.6. And finally, we got the tier 15 autocross at Spa, Speed Snap at Catalunya National, and of course the three lapper cup race at Daytona Road Course, most likely the rolling start with the PR requirement once again, 53.4, which you can reach by getting three upgrades across the board for the cost of 199 gold, 60 of which you will get back. So the net cost is, um, 139 but is that really a net cost it's like you know big discount on your car with the 21 upgrades already built in um, speaking of uh, upgrades to actually complete the um, bonus series this car is featured in Autobahn Aces 
you need a PR of 56.3 to complete that. Um, and the series features a couple of Mercedes as well as a BMW M6 Coupe. Um, so I'll have a separate video for which car can reach the PR requirement because they usually uh, typically falls on the brand new car. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the other three cars, when they're maxed out, they still fall short of the PR requirement of 56.3 to complete that Autobahn ACES bonus series in expert section of your career. But uh, we'll confirm that in another video. But for now, that does it for this series overview of the brand new uh, Audi TT RS Coupe Championship. So uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks. Bye.